all aboard the Hogwarts Express because Harry Potter is back in an exciting new format. Warner Bros. has officially announced plans for a fresh adaptation of the Harry Potter novels, this time as a TV series for Max, which is now also associated with APO. This series promises a much more in-depth exploration of the Wizarding World than the film series starring Daniel Radcliffe could provide. Each season will offer significantly more time to delve into the magical world, characters and storylines that J. K. Key Rowling created. For those unfamiliar with the Harry Potter saga, it centers around an 11-year-old boy who discovers he is a wizard and is accepted into the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Harry soon learns about his family's history with the Dark Lord, Voldemort, whose return threatens the entire wizarding world and those he loves most. This ambitious retelling aims to expand on the original film franchise, which spanned eight movies from 2001 to 2011. Warner Bros. has previously explored Rowling's universe with the Fantastic Beasts films, a theme park attraction, the stage production of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, and the recent video game Hogwarts Legacy. The announcement of this new series has generated a mix of excitement and apprehension among fans, eager to see how this new adaptation will unfold. The series has been in slow development, but significant progress has been made recently. Warner Bros. has appointed Francesca Gardiner as the showrunner. Gardiner, who has written for acclaimed series like Succession and His Dark Materials, will lead this new adaptation. Additionally, Mark Mylod, a veteran director with experience on shows like Game of Thrones, Succession, and The Last of Us, will direct multiple episodes. Moreover, Warner Bros has reclassified the Harry Potter series from a Max original to an HBO original. This change is largely administrative, but it signifies the high expectations and prestige associated with the series. While fans hoped for a 2025 release, Warner Bros. Discovery CEO David Zaslav indicated in February 2024 that the series is targeting a 2026 premiere. The development of such a monumental project requires careful planning and execution, ensuring the series lives up to the high standards set by the original films and book. The production of the Harry Potter series has involved numerous writers pitching their visions for the show. Francesca Gardiner emerged as the winning choice, with her experience on critically acclaimed series positioning her well for this ambitious project. Mark Mylod's involvement as a director further enhances the production's credibility, given his extensive experience with high-profile TV series and films, one of the original film series' biggest strengths was its dynamic cast, including Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint, Emma Watson, and legendary British actors like Maggie Smith, Alan Rickman, and Ralph Fiennes. However, Max has clarified that the new series will feature an entirely new cast. As of now, no official casting announcements have been made, but the success of the series will heavily depend on perfect casting choices. Fans have been speculating and dreamcasting on social media, but official announcements are still pending. Finding the right actors to embody these beloved characters will be crucial to the series' success. Max released a brief teaser to announce the series, which included the iconic typeface and John Williams' score from the original film. While the teaser did not reveal much about the new series, it acknowledged its existence and set the stage for future announcements. The use of the original branding and music has led to some speculation about whether the new series will incorporate these elements, but it is more likely that the series will establish its own unique identity. Initial reports suggested the series would run for seven seasons, with each season adapting one of Rowling's books. However, Warner Bros. Discovery has indicated that the series could span a decade allowing for even more detailed storytelling. This extended format will enable the series to delve deeper into the wizarding world, potentially incorporating elements from Rowling's expansive mythology that were not included in the original films. J. J. K. K. Rowling, the creator of the Harry Potter franchise, has become a controversial figure in recent years due to her comments on the trans community. Despite this, Warner Bros. has brought her on board as an executive producer for the new series, Rowling has expressed her commitment to preserving the integrity of her books in this adaptation. In January 2024, Deadline reported that Rowling would be involved in decision-making for the series, and this was confirmed by David Zaslav in February 2024.
With an entirely new cast set to take on the roles of Hogwarts students and faculty, the original cast members are passing the torch. Daniel Radcliffe, who played Harry Potter, has expressed his support for the new series, stating that he is not seeking involvement but wishes the new cast the best. Other original cast members have not yet commented extensively on the new series, though Tom Felton, who played Draco Malfoy, has previously expressed interest in returning to the Wizarding World in some capacity. The Harry Potter series will be available for streaming on Max, with a dedicated section for the Wizarding World. Fans can currently stream all eight original films, the three Fantastic Beasts movies, the Harry Potter 20th Anniversary, Return to Hogwarts reunion film and other specials like the Hogwarts Tournament of Champions hosted by Helen Mirren. This comprehensive collection allows fans to revisit the original films while they await the new series. The new Harry Potter series on APO promises to be a thrilling and detailed exploration of J.K. Key, Rowling's beloved books, with an experienced showrunner and director at the helm, an entirely new cast and a format that allows for more in-depth storytelling, this series has the potential to captivate a new generation of fans while offering fresh insights and adventures for long-time enthusiasts. As we await further announcements and the eventual release in 2026, the excitement and anticipation for this ambitious project continue to build.